How's it going, everybody? In lieu of the current situation in the country right now, I thought it would be a good idea to just go through the statistical data and see if that tells a story. I just every feel like everyone should know the exact numbers of what we're talking about here. First, I'm going to look at the general race statistics for murder. This is the general right from FBI.gov. We're going to look at these statistics right now. So first I'll go through each year. I have every year going back to 2010. And this isn't the full story, all right? Because then we're going to do some percentages and I'm going to show you right on the screen. I'm going to take the calculator out, do them right in front of you and show you what these numbers really mean. Okay, so here's 2010, right? 447 black people killed, murdered a white person in 2010. 218 white people murdered a black person in 2010, Okay. Double, that's more than double the amount of black people killed a white person in 2010. In 2011, 448 black people murdered white people. Only 193, and to make no mistake, I wish every one of these said zero. This is not a contest. I hate this stuff, okay? This sucks that there's anything on this page. But since you are literally tearing down the country in the name of white on black crime and how white people oppress and kill black people, you should at least know the numbers. That's all. You should at least know the numbers. So if you can't sit through this, you shouldn't be out there protesting. You shouldn't be online protesting. And this will be quick. I'll go through it quick. I'll show all my work on the screen. And then you could decide for yourself at the end of this video. Okay? Sound good? All right. So 2011, 448 black people killed a white person. 193 white people killed a black person. 2012, 431 to 193. 2013, 409 black people killed a white person. 189 white people killed a black person. Okay, are you seeing a trend here? They're all exactly the same. This is every single year. 2014, 446 to 187. 2015, 500 to 229. 2016, 533. See, it's getting worse, okay? And then to 243, all right? 2017, 576 black people killed a white person and 264 white people killed a black person. 2018, 514 to 234. And that's all I have. They're, they're always a few years behind these statistics. But as you can imagine, 2019 and eventually 2020 are going to be exactly the same. So here's what these numbers mean. Here is the racial breakdown of Americans. You have 197 million white people, right? And 39 million black people. All right, so here's your demographic. Here's how many different people are in this country. Here are... The murder statistics for 2018, which we just went over, is pretty much the average for every year. So of the 39, 445, and 495 black people in America, 514 of them killed a white person. So one out of every 76,000 black people killed a white person. If you go to the white statistics, you have 197, 277, 789, right? Now, out of those people, 234 of them killed a black person. So, one out of every 843,000 white people killed a black person, Okay. If you're white and you encounter a black person, the chances of him murdering you are only 1 in 76,000, as opposed to nearly 1 in a million the other way around, okay? I repeat, if you are black and you encounter a white person, the chances of you being killed by that white person are nearly 1 in a million. I mean, that's good news, not bad news. If you're mad right now, why? Shouldn't that be a relief? But do you understand now when people get mad when you burn down the country over supposed racial violence? So now if we divide the 843,000 by the 76,742, you get 10.9. 11 times more likely if you're white to be shot by a black person 
than if you're black to be shot by a white person. That's the math, all right? You want to take the math? So 11 times as bad. You want to take the percentages out of it? All right, it's only twice as bad. Still twice as much. You're still twice as likely to kill a white person. So stop it. Stop going out there. Stop talking about the white devil. Stop talking about how white people kill black people. It's false. You're being given false data. No news. Why won't the news show you the actual data? These are the actual numbers, okay? Why won't they show it to you? It works for every year. No, but they got you and they got kids and mostly kids. A lot of the older heads probably know this already. But they got a lot of people, a lot of younger people thinking, oh my God, the white people are going to come get us. White people, white people, white people, white people. And you know what? That might be facilitating this. This might be a big reason why it's 11 times as much and maybe not five times as much or six times as much. Personally, I wish it was zero times as much. All right? That's the ultimate goal to get all of these numbers as low as possible. To stop looking at who's who and what people look like and what and what skin color they are. That's the ultimate goal. But right now, you're collapsing a country over skin color. And there's a lot of victims that are coming out of this. And you should at least know that you guys have a terrible track record when it comes to white on black versus black on white violence. Period. So those are the numbers. 11 times white people are killed by black people. 11 times times as much there's no nationwide outrage there's no white lives matter there's no al sharpton coming in to stoke the flames there's no protest occasionally maybe one of these will get five minutes on the news and then it's completely on to the next thing totally buried and never talked about again because it doesn't fit their narrative right now they have you rioting over fake news now the next thing I want to look at is the actual arrest compared to the shot by police. We'll stay in 2018 because that's uh, what the updated data is. Now, keep in mind first, before we go into it, that a lot of these the people are armed and they have a weapon and the cop is in danger when this happens. But let's just assume that all 209 black people who were killed by cops in 2018 were unarmed. So we'll just go worst case scenario. First of all, how many black arrests were there? Well, it says that in 2018, there were 10 million arrests altogether. If you come down here, it says 69% of those people were white and 27.4% of those arrests were black. So how do we figure that out? So we got 10,310,960 arrests. All right, so you want to figure out what's 1% of this divided by 100. 1% of that is 103.109. So now times that by 27.4. So you have for 2018, 2,825,203 black people were arrested. So out of those people, 209 were killed by cops. Out of the two, nearly 3 million arrests, okay? Now to put that in perspective... Again, let's see what 1% of this is. Divide it by 100. So 1% 1 of black arrests in 2018 was 28,252. Clear this out. So now we'll take the 209 and we'll put it over to 28,252 to see. All right? 0.007 of a percent, not of the hundred percent, of just one percent, seven thousandths of one single percent are killed in these exchanges. That's how rare it is for a black person to be killed by a cop while being arrested. So are people killed by cops every year? Yes. A very, very small fraction of one percent end up in the person being killed. A very small percent of that then are unjustified and should never have happened. But to blame the entire police force of the United States of America on such a minuscule number is absolutely insane. And the fact that the news won't show you these numbers is highly suspect and they should be held to task for it, okay? This is on the media for exasperating this. This is on every TV you go right now. is a complete assault on your mind. But Oh, white people, white people, white people, white people, white people. All over a minuscule fraction of one single percent, okay? 
And that's the worst case scenario. That's assuming that all 209 of these cases were unarmed black men, which there's no way in hell that that's the case. The number of these 209 who were unarmed is probably more like 10 or 20, which means this is seven ten thousandths of 1%, all right? And I know some of them say, oh, the cop was just scared and he thought maybe he had a gun or whatever, and that's fine. But for some of them, they were just being assholes and people should be mad and people should go after them, specifically those handful of cops. And think about your office at work right now, right? How many of them are just complete assholes? You cannot stand their guts. Think of your actual workplace. Name them in your head. There's got to be at least one. Let's just say out of the 20 people in your office, there's that one person who you can't stand and is just a horrendous person, okay? Do you want to be held accountable for what he does? Say his name in your head. It's okay. Do you want to be accountable for XYZ's actions? This guy goes out and does something heinous because he's an asshole and assholes do shitty things from time to time. Do you want to be held to that? All right? That's one in 20. That's 5% of your office right now is assholes. All right? Of the police force, seven ten thousandths of 1% murder unarmed black people. So to attack all cops based on that is just absolute insanity. And any of the powers that be that are pushing this insanity have a hidden agenda. You could bet on that. And if I could find these numbers, they can find these numbers. So the only people you should be mad at are the media who take these handful of cases every year, project them, and make it seem like it's the norm to terrorize you. Okay, they are terrorizing you. They want you to think that anytime you're being arrested, you are in danger of being murdered over your skin color. And I got news for you. That is simply not the case. You did not have to burn down those cities. The only people you should be mad at are the specific cops who committed it and the media. That's the only place your anger should be levied at. They did this to America and they know damn well what they did. Now, before I finish this video, I want to run one more set of numbers for you, okay? So we know that if a white person encounters a black person, there's a 1 in 76,000 chance that he is going to be murdered by him. If a black person encounters a white person, there's a 1 in 843,000 chance that he's going to be murdered by him. But what are the numbers if you are black and encounter another black person? So for that, we'll take the 39,445,495 black people in the country and divide it by the 2,600 black people they murdered in 2018. Okay? If you are black and you run into another black person, you have a 1 in 15,000 chance that he is going to kill you. Okay? So... Just think about that for a second. If you're white, if you run into a white person, you have a one in nearly a million chance that he's going to kill you. However, if you run into a fellow black person, it is only one in 15,000. You got to stop blaming white people. I'm sorry. So now if you take the 843,067 and divide it by the 15,171, you will see that you as a black person are 55 times more likely to be shot by another black person than you are by a white person. End of story. 55 more times. Now, looking at this here, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. One, why would the news only show you the absolute smallest figure on this screen? Two, if you're black and you're watching this right now and you're mad, why? It was made up the whole time. You don't have to fear white people. How awesome is that? And as for the one in 15,000, which is a really low number, I got to admit, I didn't expect it to be that bad. But as for that number, I hope you figure it out. I'm sure a lot of white people, a lot of these people who are helping you destroy cities in the name of fake news would help you somehow figure out something, what to do with that. I think it's crazy that organizations like Black Lives Matter and Al Sharpton and all these people, they refuse to use all this energy against that number. Why? But on the rare occasion where a white person does something, they are jump out of their seats and fly across the country because it's big 
business, all right? These people get filthy rich off this stuff. Look at all these donations. Just today, the NFL said $250 million they're going to they put to help the black community. Black Lives Matter has already got hundreds of millions. There's been all these hundreds of millions of dollars just being tossed around at this, right? When they're all said and done, they'll have over a billion dollars that have been thrown at this. Will any of that money make a difference? Are they going to give any of that money to poor black families? You know, a billion dollars is a thousand million. You could pick a thousand random poor black families and send them each a million dollars with that money. Or you could pick 10,000 random poor black families and send them each a hundred thousand dollars. All right. A hundred thousand dollars is life changing. At least where I come from. But no, they're not going to do that. They're going to spread it around to all these different organizations and it's going to get lost in payroll and advertising and certain people are going to get rich and literally none of you are going to, why do you even care that they're giving money to Black Lives Matter? You're not going to see a dime of it. So those are just some things to think about and here are the numbers. Do with them what you want. Anyway, I hope that helps shed some light on the situation, starts clearing up some of the myths that are being pushed right now. There are a lot of good people right now who are out there rioting because they feel like it's the right thing to do and putting themselves in really bad situations over cooked numbers. So I hope this video finds some of you and maybe help you realize that we are not the enemies. The people leaning down in your ear all the time saying, yeah, it's the white man. Oh, look at the white man, blah, 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 white, white, white. That's the enemy. And that's the same person who then leans down to the poor white man and says, look, man, you're just as poor as they are. They don't give a crap about you. In fact, they're blaming you. You going to take that? It's the oldest trick in the book, but you know what predates it? Mathematics and numbers don't lie. Thank you for watching.